Uh, hi and welcome. Uh, I hope you are good. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about how to find the mean or sum of uh, single or multiple columns based on a group. Uh, so the objective is to calculate the aggregation, aggregate features like mean, sum or median. Uh, in, in the title, I have just mentioned mean and sum, but we can use any of the aggregated functions. Uh, of a single column now, now we want if we want to create the aggregation of a single column or of multiple columns based on a, a group by now group by is on a single uh, column so we are we are doing basically uh, group by and then doing an aggregation so let's import some of the libraries um, and uh, this is the these are the versions of the libraries that i'm using uh, this could be different from you uh, for you uh, but uh, I am assuming that it, it would work. So let this import. I have created a scenario here uh, where I have uh, so NumPy is 1.20.3 and Pandas version is 1.3.4. Uh, I, I have created a, a scenario where uh, I have created a simple data frame, uh, which uh, now you may or may not want to uh, run the code, but in case you want to run the code, I'll put the a link to this uh, uh, notebook in the description. Uh, so we have a data frame, a small data frame. I have taken a small data frame so that it's visible on the screen completely. Uh, so the data frame looks like like this. We have a year column, quarter, sales, and profit. So for each year, in in uh, for each of the quarters in a particular each of the quarter in a particular year, what is the sales, and what is the profit? Now these are some random numbers I have taken. Uh, so this is the uh, the data frame and now the objective is based on the group where which is the year uh, let's say i want to find in the year 2019 what is the total sales what is the mean of the sales in 2018 what is the mean sales and the total sales as well as for other other years so let's start uh, uh, also we can have the similar thing for sales as well as for uh, profit for each of the years. So I'll take uh, a few examples in, in this case in uh, I'll create a code based on this. So I want to aggregate uh, on a single column. So aggregation of it should be aggregation. Okay, the output of uh, our query should look something like this, that we have the years, and then we have the mean as well as the sum of sales. Uh, now this is a uh, multi-index column, uh, hierarchical. In another video or maybe next video, I'll tell how to flatten this. Uh, but for, for, for now, we want an output like this. So this can be achieved uh, using group by and aggregate. Let's see how we'll do this. So we have a data frame that is called df. Let, let me first run this. We have df dot group by. So we want to group by it on group by on year. Y year and then dot dot ag. I am using a general method. There are uh, other methods as well, but this method will work. work uh, with any of the aggregation that you wanted to want to create and with as many number of uh, columns right now I'm doing it for one column only so I want to create the aggregation on the sales column and what I want is I want uh, mean and sum so df dot group by the year you the column on which you want to do the group by that you do you need to mention dot ag in bracket inside a dictionary first the column name on which you want to do the aggregation and then in a list just mention average so you want average we will put mean comma as well as we want sum so this is the output that we want that we uh, want it's the same as the one printed above i just want to see if let's see if i only give mean Okay, it gives an error. We need to put this in a list. 
So this this gives only mean, but we want also the sum. We need to put it in uh, double brackets in these functions. So this was our first uh, question. Now let's say we want to find the average in the sum of sales for each year and also the average in sum of profit for each of the year. So yeah we have sales as well as profit and we want output something like this so let's see how we'll do this we have dot df dot group by uh, year dot agg and first is the sales we want to find the mean and the sum of sales which is the same as what we did above sales first mention the column name and then mention the functions on which you want uh, functions uh, which you want to use as aggregate functions this is this is mean and sum now this will give the same output as above the not this one but the above above one this one we want the aggregation on profit as well so this is one key of the dictionary key and and the value pair and key value pair the other one similar to this we'll add for profit p r o f i t again mean comma sum i have taken mean and sum just to be consistent throughout but you can take any of the aggregation functions like mean uh, like median or uh, min max basically finding the minimum of the value or the maximum of the value we can also do mode but in a different way uh, we'll come to that in some other video but uh, right now let's stick to this let's say if you just want mean so this is the output it's matching the above one let's say if you just want mean so it comes like this only so uh, we'll, we only have profit and mean so it's very uh, adjustable. We, we we can put any number of uh, functions here. Let's say if we want to put median. Okay. So we get the output. I'll just remove this so that we are doing only what we are asked to. Okay. Now the same thing we can now same thing can be achieved using some uh, using a different uh, code, simpler code. Uh, let's say we want we know we already know what aggregation functions we want to run on uh, the columns and we and we are running those uh, functions on all the columns for example in this case we are running mean and sum both on sales as well as profit so the aggregation function is same for both the col column sales as well as profit so this this whole thing can be achieved with less number of codes but the condition is if we know that the same aggregate functions ha function has to be applied on the on multiple columns so same aggregate function or same aggregated aggregate functions has to be applied on multiple columns let's do it df dot group by year is same dot now we don't need dot what we want is the columns on which we want to perform the aggregation first is sales now we have to put it in list double list otherwise it will give an error here sorry profit and then if we put ag just put in the name of the aggregations we want to perform mean comma sum okay so it's the same as the previous one it's a little bit less uh, code but we have the condition that we are performing the same aggregation for all the columns that's why we can we are subsetting it like this uh, this method is more generalizable you don't need to think much we, we just uh, need the column names as and the functions which we are on the aggregate aggregation functions that we are performing on those columns uh, so the summary is uh that we 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 have a data frame we want to this is group 
so we need a group column on which we are for based on which we'll do the group by in this case it was it was here then we do the dot ag the column one or the, the first column the functions the aggregation functions that we want to perform i have just written f1 one and fun two it could be uh, basically just to, to represent it could be any aggregate aggregation functions now there are limited set of functions pre-built uh, but this is customizable as well we can create our own functions and put here for, for performing the aggregation and then we uh, in this case we have just taken two columns but we can take as many columns as as we want it's column two i have taken mean and max let's put, put it sum okay so this is the summary i have put in some more code uh, if you want to go through it i'll share the uh, link in the description but i'll stop the video here i'll just uh, revisit this again just to tell so we have this scenario where we have year sales profit we wanted to know for each year what is the total what is the average sales and what is the sum of the sales as the first question and the other one was uh, for each of the years uh, what is the total sales and profit uh, no, sorry the average and the sum of sales as well as profit so for aggregation of a single column that is finding the average and sum of sales for each year we have this line of code uh, where we are rdf.group by year.ag sales mean and sum because we are doing mean and sum in case we are doing it on multiple columns for example we want to find the average as well as sum for sales as well as for profit so in that case we have df group by year ag sales in in dictionary now this comes in in dictionary the aggregation functions mean and sum and again profit mean and sum so this is the overall technique to find to do the group by and then do the aggregation functions uh, we can generalize this for different functions not just mean and sum so i'll stop this video let me know if you found this video useful uh, thank you and take care